Quiet on the set. And action. Th this, this is this Seven is Black, Black, Black. T production. It's your boy James Hunter, and we doing discussions with today. Easy. The Breaking Point was my most recent film. I think just how my perspective, you know, I have um, how I look at the editing process. You know, in most movies, you use a lot of establishing shots whenever you transition from one scene to another. Like, I don't do that a lot. You know what I mean? So it kind of gives a, the movie a, a organic, authentic feel to it. A certain type of authenticity. I think this one is just I had more resources. You know what I mean? I was able to hire more experienced crew members, more experienced editor, um, secure locations that I, in the past I wouldn't normally have been able to secure because of lack of funding. So it's just more funding created more resources, created a better project. If you can't stand to do 18 hour days filming, and I'm talking about maybe five or six days like that back to back, that's not for you. You know what I mean? So the, I, I think that's the first part of whether you know that this is you're supposed to be a filmmaker, son. That's, that's like the first part. But then there's other things too that people don't, like film school don't teach, teach kids, man. And that's just, the ability to work well with others. Well, when I was younger, probably like around 1920, I wrote a screenplay. And at that time I was in the rapping. So, you know, and then as a as a rapper, like you gotta be able to have, you know, have a vivid imagination. And so I wrote a um a movie called New York State of Mind. And at that time, Nas had that song, I'm in the New York State of Mind. So that was like the, the soundtrack to the joint, you know what I mean? And um, it's crazy because now, you know what I mean, some 15 years later, whatever, when I moved down to Florida to go to school for music, they took us on a, um, a tour to school while we were touring, and I was touring like the music department. I saw the other tour, which was the film department, and I was just, I was open. I seen all the little gadgets they was playing with and all that. Heard a little conversation about cinema and all that. I asked my um my tour guide, you know, is it possible for I could switch tours? And he was like, sure. You know, when when the school I went to is in a um accelerate an accelerated school. So we had to go to school all hours of the day, weekends. I had classes sometimes one in the morning to eight in the morning you know, on Sunday, you know what I'm saying? So it's just very, very taxing. My sister and I, we were talking and I was like, I don't know if I should really do that. And she said, and I said, cause I don't know about, you know, if I can make that happen, I don't know if my skill set, well, you know, is, 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 a, is efficient or adequate enough to be able to um, do this film thing. And she said, remember you wrote that screenplay back in the days? And she was like, yo, you had never wrote a screenplay before or nothing and you killed that. I said, yo, you know son, you right. Maybe that was God letting me know right then. Like, this is what you're gonna be doing later on in life, young man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a challenge. And I always welcome challenges, man. So, once I seen that it was a challenge, it became a must for me to confront it head on. I see, sitting in the back of the movie theater, while your movie's playing on a big theater like AMC, Regal or something, and you're, you you got a packed theater, and you just listening and watching everybody's reaction. And then when you get that, oh, oh yeah, clapping, you like this on the inside, like, yo, I did it, you know what I mean? There's no other feeling more rewarding than that. You know what I'm saying? So I would definitely give it up to that. But, I have to, as an addendum, I have to say, the actual process though, like directing the actors. See, what people don't know is that even when they watch movies, sometimes you might have watched a certain scene that was shot 20 times, like 20 different takes, before they, the director felt that he got, felt he got what he needed from the actor. My next movie is called The Turnaround Movie. It's an urban, faith-based movie. So basically, 
the thing that inspired me to do this movie ties into what the movie is about. You know, me personally, I'm a believe I'm a big believer in God. Not really too much into religion, but definitely a big believer in God. I feel like I know a lot of people who aren't, and when I talk to them, most of the time it's because of different things that happen to them in their life. And they always said to themselves, well, if there's such thing as God, how come this happened to me? Are you talking about the God that allowed my mom and my dad to leave here before I even got a chance to meet him? You know what I mean? That allowed whatever happened to me to be, a, you know, for me to be in this hospital, that allowed this and allowed that. And that's, that comes from the, that's what the movie was made for. That's who my audience is. It's people who think like him in that moment. And we're going to get it out there, man, you know? So I just want everybody to know, be on the lookout for the turnaround movie. It's definitely going to be something memorable and historic. I'm out.